Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Oblivion. So last time we completed the arena and became the grand champion, and we got our Raymond of Vela. Look at us. We're dashing. We are a true man right now, with our eye patch and everything. Anyway, we also have the adoring fan. We gotta keep him with us for now, but uh his AI is kinda dead up and out and he keeps not following me, and you know, we, we may have to get rid of him sooner than later, but we weren't planning to keep him for long anyway. Anyhow. We now have to go to Fort Farragut and meet with Lucien Lachance and talk to him about our next contracts. So, we are probably going to travel from the- Yeah, it's right, let's just go from this Oblivion Gate here, because we found that it's near the area. And you never know, we may get into a brawl with some Daedra or something along the way, and... I'm pretty sure the Adoring Fan is essential, which means he can't actually die. I may be wrong about that, but I don't think I am. And it's pitch freaking black now, well fantastic. Hey, we got our first Minotaur. Minotaur, Minotaur, whatever the hell you want to call it, and it's fighting something. I don't think that's a god. Get away from me. Where the hell is the adoring fan gone? Oh my god. I think I just saw him over there. He's miles away. What is this guy doing? What is that? Oh, it's a bandit. Okay. So, uh, you nearly shot me with that shit. <laughs> Damn, the way he's kicking ass. She just paralyzed the Minotaur. Beat the shit out of the bandit. Yoink. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we killed our first Minotaur. That's something. And the bandit has a mithril hell. Holy shit. I can't tell you how rare it is for a bandit to actually be wearing a helmet. <laughs> That's insane. And it's the only piece of mithril that we actually need now, and I think it's the best thing we can use right now. What are you doing, adoring fan? Look at him! Dup in the hell out. Are you following me now? Good! Yeah. Now I've quick saved it, I'm gonna kill you, because come you back here! <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I just want to see if you can be killed. I'm testing it. It's for science, goddammit. It's for science. Duh! Is he dead? Yes, he is. Oh, he actually is dead. Okay, so there you go. Confirmed. He is uh, apparently not immortal, and he doesn't fall unconscious. He just dies. Well, that kind of throws a spanner in the works. But yeah, I could have sworn. You may remember I mentioned last time, I thought that he could carry stuff. I thought the way you did that, because he doesn't have a trade option. I thought the way you did that was, uh, oh, we found a first Daedroth as well. Those things are actually kind of dangerous. Luckily, we are the Maid of Doom, but anyway. So I thought you could knock him out and then open his inventory whilst he was down. You know, and still still be alive, and then just put stuff on him before he became conscious again, and he could carry stuff that way. I'm sure he can do that somehow, maybe that's Skyrim, I don't really know, but, uh... Yeah, apparently he's not immortal. Maybe it was a mod or something, but... I could have sworn he was, but apparently not. Anyway, so that kind of throws a spanner in the works, because as you can see, he's gonna keep running around, getting lost, and eventually die, so... I'm gonna take him to one of our homes, leave him there, and then we'll carry on. So, give me a moment here. Okay, we're back. I left the adoring fan in our anvil home for some damn reason. I really have no idea why. He was patently refusing to follow me into the armory lab, even though the maid comes in there, so... It's not a follower issue, it's just him for some reason. He's just dope in the hell out now. I eventually managed to get him into our anvil home, and he's there for now. Probably will stay there forever, but uh, yeah, if we have him following us, he's just gonna die. There's really no damn point. Like I said, I could have sworn he was immortal. Like, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure he was, but... Apparently I was mistaken, or there's some kind of mod or something making him killable now, I really don't know. Why did the, uh, why did it just go dark all of a sudden? That was very strange. It was dark anyway, but, like, god damn. Anyway, I believe we are nearly at Fort Farragut now. Ouch, oh god. Then right next to a freaking, get out of here. No, that's the wrong weapon. Die, you wolf bastard. Yeah, get out of here. You have a lot of HP, sir. Yes, you do. You're still alive? Damn. <laughs> okay, well, luckily the maid launched him. You get in the river. Yeah. Anyway, so like I said, I believe we are nearly at Fort Farragut now, so, uh... Yeah, I guess I'll keep you with me, because I'm pretty sure it's literally just down the road from us. And I could be mistaken, but yes, there's a guard here. You know what? This seems like a good opportunity to kill the guard and test out our, uh, our grey cow, because... Last time we used it, we did get away with the murder. There's no point killing this guy, but frankly, I just want to see if it works, because... It's kind of fun, what can I say? There you are. And <laughs> now we look silly. You're wanted dead or alive, grey fox. <laughs> This will be easier if you're dead. Yeah, I guess so. Don't mean it's gonna happen. I'll make captain for this. Yeah, no you won't. Do you wanna know why? Because you're gonna die, you son of a bitch. I don't know if we can actually take a guard, because as I mentioned, guards are very, very tough in this game, I think. And again, I may be wrong about this, but I think the overhaul with Francesco is may make guards a little bit less OP, but uh, I'm not entirely sure. But either way, we have the maid on our side, so we stand a good chance. But then again, he's uh, he's putting up quite a fight considering. I think, I think we've got it. Yes, we've got it now. Paralyzed. <laughs> now die, you son of a bitch. This is what you get for attacking me. I was going to kill you anyway, but hey, now I can claim self-defense. 
Right, give me that booty. Anyway, I guess we weren't quite as close to uh, full Farragut as I thought we were, but... Yeah, I can swear it's just up the damn hill. Where's my damn way gear? Now we look much better. Yeah, I'm sure it's just up the hill from us, and I, I honestly can't see shit out here right now. I guess we should probably use the good healing spell. Right, what was that? Oh, it's a bridge. Well, fair enough then. Come on, mate, keep the hell up. I really wish I could take her weapon, because I'm pretty sure it's custom. It might just be like a Daedric artifact or something, but I don't think it is. It kind of looks like Wuthrat to me from Skyrim, but again, this ain't Skyrim, so hey, we found four Farragats. But uh, yeah, I think it looks freaking badass. I don't know how dangerous it is, but she hits very hard with anything, so there you go. Now, I seem to remember this having some kind of weird janky entrance. Maybe I'm wrong about that? Oh, looks like it's got a normal entrance. Well, alright then. In fact, no, wait a minute, I'm sure it has two different entrances and the other one's like a quicker way in, but, you know, we're going the normal way for now, but... Yeah, I'm sure it's a second one. Hey, she actually kept up and went through the door, amazing. But yeah, as uh, Lucien Lachance mentioned in his note to us, there's gonna be a whole bunch of enemies in here. I don't think this place is very big, and again, I may be remembering wrong about that, but... I'm sure there's just like, you know, five skeletons or something that sort of guard the exterior, and then once you pass them, I think there's a whole bunch of traps, but then there's just like a room and he's in there, so yeah, I don't think this place is too big, but again, I may be remembering completely wrong, but I don't think I am, but we shall see, I guess. And I see the skeletons already, where the hell are oh, there you are? Okay. Okay, well, we may as well try and sneak attack them, not that the bow does that much damage, especially against skeletons, but you know, it's something. It's something. But uh, yeah, when we do the Dungeons of Avelian quest mod, I believe it is, there's a bow you can pick as a reward. It's like a great bow, and holy shit. That thing is so damn powerful, and it's so much fun, sir. So we are going to be doing that hopefully sooner than later, because I want that bow. And once you have that, it actually makes archery viable as, you know, just a main form of offense, sir. So we'll be doing a hell of a lot more archery once we get that, but in the meantime, it suffices. I don't know how the hell I am sneak attacking this guy every single time, but... Whatever up tickets. I see you there. Why do you have no weapon? Oh, I guess the maid did the uh, broken binding thing. Speaking of which, don't hit me with it. I know what you're like. Wait a minute, where's the maid down? Did, did she paralyze herself by mistake or something? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I just suddenly know she was just lying on her back. What are you doing? Sleeping on the job. We got things to do. Thank you. Okay, do you have any good loot? Yes, you do. Holy shit. See, I seem to recall this, I don't think it has anything to do with any mods, but, uh... There's always, like, one or two archers in this place that have, like, a metric butt-ton of arrows, and I really don't know why they're carrying so damn many, but they are. I also don't know why I'm looting my arrows when we don't really need them that much anymore, because we just got tons of them, but still... I'll take it. What do you have? Oh, You freeloader. Okay, what's going on around here? We may as well check out the random dead ends and optional pathways and stuff, because as I mentioned, I'm pretty sure... Hey, we got some loots. And we need that. Thank you. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the place is fairly tiny, so we may as well check out the optional areas, because we could get stuff like that, which we need. Speaking of which, what's in the box? Nightshade and, like, ten freaking gold. You are terrible. You are the worst chest of all time. Right, there's another doorway over here. I get a feeling this one... Oh, okay, so we can pick the lock. I'm sure this one is locked by, like, a lever, and once you've been through here, once you open that, and it's like a shortcut for when you return, but, uh... I'm sure it's like I mentioned a section where you can actually enter from the outside in a different place and that takes you down right where Lucy and Lachance is. I may be wrong about that, but I don't think I am. Finally! I broke more lockpicks on that than I care to admit. <laughs> that was kind of freaking ridiculous. I am not good at lockpicking today. Okay, so what's the point of picking this doorway? Does this just give us a shortcut to the shortcut? Or, okay. I don't know. I really don't know. I remember there's a lot of traps in here, like, uh... You know, I'm not even gonna spoil it, but I remember there's a whole bunch of traps and there's, like, a few skeletons. I don't think there's too many enemies, but... Again, maybe I'm wrong about that, and this guy will not freaking die! Why do you seem so much tougher than the rest of them? Like, what the hell? Buddy? You know, I'm gonna keep burning you if you can't stand there. <laughs> Apparently so, so will the me. Is he dead? He's still... Finally, he's dead, and now you burned me. God damn it, maid. God damn it. Alright, what do you have? Well, you have a glass axe, I'll take it. I'm pretty sure that's our first glass weapon. In fact, no, I'm alive. We got a glass bow quite a long time ago from uh, Robin, our sanctuary brethren, because we're a dick. And I see you there, Tripware. Looks like it's gonna be like a pitfall or something. Yeah, there's a bunch of rocks. Don't know how the hell they got held up, but let's not question it. Physics. <laughs> they never quite work properly in Oblivion. Right, wait a minute. There's another one here. So, what's this one gonna do? I, I'm trying to. Uh, damn it! 
I was waiting for the skeleton to come across so I could trip the wire and hopefully hit him with whatever the hell it was, but no! The maid just set it off, as per freaking usual. Can you get out of the way of trying to burn the freaking skeleton? And again, this guy's got way too much HP. Yes, you do, buddy. Yes, you do. What the hell? Thank you. <laughs> nice backflip. No, oh, it's another freaking archer. Holy shit, yes, we'll take that. And I'm over in combat. God damn it. Okay, shit has been banked. Let's go. And I just realized we are very nearly dead, but uh, I'm far too lazy to heal. Far, far too lazy. Did we come from here? I don't think we did. No, we come from over there. Yeah. Okay, so what's in... This place is way bigger than I remember it being. Is this guy like... Ah, yeah. Okay, so that's one of the uh, traps I was talking about. It's like a pitfall. I'm pretty sure there are spikes at the bottom. I don't think they insta-kill you, but they do do quite a bit of damage. So we don't want to fall down there. However, I think that might be loot... What the hell? Okay, then. I, I don't know what happened there. But uh, I think there may be loot down there. So maybe we do want to fall down there. But I think there's also a safe pathway down... I don't really remember. Oh. It, it, surely there kind of has to be a safe pathway down, because... Otherwise, how the hell would you get back up if you did fall down there? I know, screw it, just go this way. We should have enough HP to survive it, and I'm too lazy to try and find it. Are there spikes? Yes. Okay, don't do it! Yeah, okay, we took a lot of damage, even though we only just grazed them, and the maid's fine. That's all that matters. I'm gonna be very disappointed. It looks like there's not actually any loot down here. I could have sworn there was. And there's another pitfall. Is this... No, this is not where we were. Where the hell are we? I have no idea what's going on right now. There's another pathway that leads down again. This place is like a freaking maze. I do not remember it being this big. Apparently, I was completely mistaken. Uh, there's another skeleton buddy. Uh, yeah. At least this one's got crappier gear, but it wouldn't have a shield. Which just frankly makes you annoying. And we got a level up. Yes. I'm trying to disarm the guy just so he puts his freaking shield down, but he is not complying. You are not complying at all. You stop blocking! God, I hate people with shields. Put it down, sir. Just put it down. <laughs> In the legs. Got anything good? No. And you know what? You can keep your crappy dwarven. I don't want it. Why is the maid... Okay. I was going to say, why is the maid going back into combat mode? And uh, now we know. Ah, disarmed you. He's got an open thing, which I think... Yeah, it's worse than glass. So, uh, you know, it's not that great, but we can always sell it. What the hell was that? I'm guessing that was like the pickup animation. And the maid was unconscious again. What are you doing, drunkie? A uh, bone mill. Well, we'll take the bone mill. Where the hell nuts? I hope we nearly get loose here now, because... I don't know where the hell we are. I'm very confused. And I keep walking into the traps. Uh, ah! I believe this was the gate I was talking about, which, yes. Okay, so that's Lucian, so... Uh, that's the gate I think you have to open, because... I don't freaking know. There's some kind of reason, like, uh, if you go in the other entrance, then you can't open it from that side. Something like that. Maybe you can. I don't know, but, uh, you know, I, I was gonna check out the rest of the, uh, the building, but screw this shit. And let's just go talk to the guy, because, frankly, we've done enough killing for today. Especially after the damned arena. Hey, buddy. How's it going? I have been waiting for you, assassin. We have not spoken in some time, but I am well aware of your accomplishments within the Dark Brotherhood. Well, naturally. That is why I have sent for you. I'm afraid there is a situation. The time has come to test both your skill and your loyalty to Sithis. The Black Hand has learned that the Dark Brotherhood has been infiltrated. By whom, and for what purpose, we do not yet know. What we do know is that there is some link between the traitor and the Chaden Hall Sanctuary. The traitor has tainted that place beyond repair. I didn't do it. It was learned that the traitor has been active for quite some time, since before you joined the Brotherhood. That absolves you of any suspicion. Well, okay, for once I actually didn't do it. Uh, let's go with... Wait, you can't possibly mean... Oh, but I do. You have been selected by the Black Hand to perform the ancient rite known as purification. Everyone inside the sanctuary must die. My get. You must break one of the tenets you have sworn to uphold. I know. This is an unexpected turn of events, but drastic measures must be taken. 
Ochiva, Vicente Valtieri, Antoinette Marie, Gogran Grobalmag, Talendril, Mirage Dar, and Tainava. All these family members must die. Frankly, sir, I'm okay with that. From this point forward, you are no longer bound by the five tenets. Sethis will forgive any murder, any theft, so long as you serve the Black Hand. I may have robbed them already. When the rite of purification has been completed, return to me here at Fort Farragut, and we will discuss your future. Now, take these special gifts. They will help you greatly. One is a poisoned apple. The other, a unique scroll of summoning. Good luck. Silencer. Thanks, buddy. I like you too. So yeah, you can use poison apples on them. I don't think I've ever actually done that. I always just burst in and kill them, but say, we'll try the poison apple method just for the hell of it. Anyway, tell me about this unique scroll of summoning. I'm pretty sure I know what this is, though. You of course recall Rufio, the feeble old man I sent you to kill when we first met. He was weak in life, but his spirit is quite angry in death. Can't say to so blame him. The scroll will allow you to call upon Rufio's angry ghost for assistance. He will appear, unleash his anger upon your foes, and then disperse. Yes, yeah, so we can summon Rufio. You'd think he'd be pissed at me, but there you go. Anyway, tell me about the poisoned apple. The apple has been treated with a most deadly poison. It will likely kill whomever eats it, probably instantly. To use the apple, simply dispose of any other food and put the apple in its place. If someone is inclined to eat and they taste the apple, death. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, tell me about the purification. The Dark Brotherhood is an ancient organization. We have survived for millennia. Sometimes, to ensure that survival, drastic measures are required. The purification is one of the most extreme measures we are forced to carry out. Indeed, it has only been carried out twice. Before now, that is. The five tenets are the laws that guide and protect us. But sometimes, even they must be broken to protect the sanctity of our beliefs. With a purification, we cleanse the Dark Brotherhood of mistrust and treachery. Those who are slain are offered to Sithis as a symbol of fealty. And hopefully, we kill the traitor in the process. Until the purification is complete, no given sanctuary will ever be considered secure. Look, as long as I get to murder people horribly, I'm perfectly happy. Make haste. The sanctuary must be purified if this treachery is to be undone. Yeah, you can't make me. I'm gonna stand around here and rob you first. I'm pretty sure, yes, we are allowed to rob him, and I do believe there are, like, another 10 or 12 poison apples around here somewhere. What the hell is this? Oh, is that a unique arrow? I think it's an arrow. It might be, like, a staff or a sword or something. Yes, it does seem to be an arrow. Okay, that looks freaking cool. I'm assuming that's extremely deadly. I do believe that's part of the Alien Meteoric Iron Weaponry. I think that's what it's called. It's linked in the video description uh, along with every single other mod I have. Anyway, like I say, I believe you can rob this guy and get some more poisoned apples, but like I say, I've never actually used the apples to kill the uh, people in the sanctuary. I'm sure I've tried it before and it just never seems to work. But, you know, screw it, we'll try and poison everybody, we'll just dump apples all over the damn place and see if we can actually take them out that way, because usually, like I say, I just burst in and slaughter all of them, because they're not too, too tough, but we shall see, I guess, because we do have the overhaul that makes the game harder. Anyway, what are we going to get in Mia? Hopefully something amazing. We get, uh, well, I'll take the sword and the money, but it's, it's kind of crappy. Hey, we got some uh, random human hearts and shit. Again, we might need those for Midas Magic, so that's my reasoning. And, you know, we can always use them for alchemy when I eventually get around to that. Any of this good? Not particularly. Where the hell are the apples? Like I say, I'm sure they're in a barrel I somewhere. For the night yeah, and that's the other exit. Shut up. I'm busy. Is it in... Wait a minute. We can level up here. Let's do that before we do anything else. 
God damn, I do not know why the intelligence only ever gets like one bonus every single time. Like it never gets like plus one or two or whatever. Now, as I mentioned, I'm sure like the more you use a particular type of skill, like say we beat a lot of people up with a sword, we should get more bonus to our strength when we level up. I think that's the way it works. I Maybe it's like a racial thing or the stats that you begin with. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, yeah, it never actually seems to work. And apparently what we're looking for ain't in that barrel. Is it in the sex? Now, where the hell are these goddamn apples? Where are you hiding your apples, you sneaky son of a bitch? I, I don't know. Ah, there's a barrel. Yes! <laughs> no, I don't know why it has a very hard lock. It's a barrel, but... You know, it's one of those weird things in Oblivion. Random shit is locked sometimes. But yeah, I'm assuming this is where we're gonna get the apples, and then, uh... Like I say, we'll dump them all over the place and see if we can poison them, but... I could swear I've tried that before, but maybe I was doing something wrong, but hey, if I was, then I'm probably gonna repeat the same damn mistake, but whatever. Open, goddammit. Thank you. Holy shit. And yes, there we go, we got the apple, so we have 11, we only have to kill like 5 or 6 people, so that should be plenty. Anyway, we will do that next time. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did, it was appreciate a like, and I will see you next time, for more Oblivion.